Hey, this is Jim from From Scratch Farmstead, and today we're gonna to take a tour of our chicken coop that we built inside our barn. When we moved onto our homestead a couple years ago, we knew that one of the first things we wanted to do was to get some laying hens. So that first spring, we got a bunch of baby chicks, had them in the brooder, and they were getting big quick, and we didn't have any coop to house them in after that. And so we knew we start, needed to start getting busy, building something, and we just wanted to keep it simple, work with what we had. I looked into some different designs and ideas. I, I was, I, I liked the idea of like an egg mobile or something mobile, but we didn't have a truck or tractor to pull it with. Uh, I thought about building a separate coop structure, you know, the cute little standalone coop somewhere on our property, but that was a pretty big involved project. And so then I looked at our pole barn that already was on the property. We had like a maybe 50 foot by 25 foot pole barn and thought maybe I could just build something inside there. It already had a stall inside of it for our animals and cows. And so I came up with a really basic design of how to build a chicken coop inside our barn. And we went that route and I'm so glad we did. So let's go jump inside of it and take a tour of our coop. All right, so here's the front door of the chicken coop. And I love this door. This was actually a door that we salvaged off a really old house. So it was really sweet to be able to use kind of a repurposed old door. And I really wanted to use a lot of other repurposed materials on this project, but I built it right in the middle of like the big lumber shortage that happened in the last year or two. And so I ended up just couldn't find used lumber. So I had to buy a lot of it new. Um, these panels here, were actually panels left over from our house project too. This was like whitewashed tongue and groove boards that I was able to use on the front of the coop. But we'll go ahead and jump on inside. And one thing I'll mention about the door is that you wanna make sure to have your door wide enough to at least fit a wheelbarrow in here for getting in and cleaning out your coop and scooping up some of the poop and um, straw and wood chips or wood shavings, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, having having that wide enough to fit a wheelbarrow in there is really critical. So let's go ahead and come on in. And so this side of the coop is pretty basic, right? There's not a ton of components to a chicken coop. So down here we have our just a couple basic feeders that we load up with food for them every day. On this side we have our water and again it's just a basic water. I built a heated base underneath it out of a cinder block and we actually have a separate video that shows how to do that. So I can include a link to that video. We also have our laying boxes here and so you can see it's just a really basic laying box set up. There's eight of them here. Sweet story behind this is we were actually building our coop and a local farmer friend heard that we were building it and we were going to be building a laying box soon and they said hey we actually have a spare laying box at our farm if you want to come and just pick it up you can go for it this is what we got which is awesome it's just made out of plywood and has eight laying boxes and we just screwed it right onto the wall of the coop down in this corner here i kind of cut in this door after the fact on the other side of this wall is our stall for our animals and so I wanted to be able to have a separate access point for the chickens to go in and out of this wall into that stall. And then there's also a door that leads to the outside here. And so this is just a really basic setup that I kind of just threw together. It's got some kind of two by four rails that I cut a notch into. And then I just used a plywood door with like this little handle on it and it slides up and down inside those notches and the chickens can go in and out of there. And so we have this door and the front door. Sometimes I have both open, sometimes I only have one open for them to go in and out of. All right, so jumping over to the other side of the coop then is our roost. And I really just wanted to build something really simple and easy. And so we have some like pine and spruce trees on our property that are constantly dropping branches. And so I just went out and collected up some branches screwed them together into kind of this ladder shape and then leaned it up against the wall of the barn and it's it's been great we have uh well right now we have about 50 chickens we originally had like 25 and so this has worked out perfectly for like the, the original 25. now that we have more i might need to add some extra roosting space so this literally took me like an hour to throw together with just some screws and some of these branches 
and so far it's worked out great for our chickens. All right, so jumping back to the outside of the coop, I just want to talk a little bit about the actual, uh, how it's constructed and how I built it. So anytime you're building a structure for chickens, chickens are very vulnerable, especially at night. And so you have to really think about how to protect them from all sides, right? There's the four sides of the coop, and then there's also the top and bottom. So all six sides, I guess, you need to think through. And so starting from the ground up, ideally I would have actually dug like a foot down and put like hardware cloth or something, the lining the whole bottom of the coop. Uh, I didn't have time for that. And so what I did is I bought these cinder blocks. They are four inches by eight inches by 16 inches long. And I basically used those as like the foundation of the coop. So I dug a trench all the way around, kind of laid things out, dug, dug a trench where I wanted my walls to sit on top of and put these cinder blocks in the ground and they go down eight inches. You could also uh, put them vertically if you, if you put them that way and then that would obviously have a lot more protection to it in terms of something, if something tried to dig under there, would have a lot harder time doing that. But so far we've not had any issues with anything trying to dig under the coop with kind of this solid block wall underneath. And again, we have that kind of all along the four sides of the coop. So if anything tries to get in under the coop, they run up against this. And so that's, that's the foundation. As kind of a base plate then I have treated two by fours and then the rest I just kind of framed out pretty basic walls on top of that out of either two by fours or in the corners and kind of some of the, the front area I used four by four posts. But yeah, these are just framed out walls and you can see on the sides here I, I did like a four foot high kind of knee wall or half wall and so on the outside of that I used this um, it's kind of like an exterior grade panel plywood piece. You could find this at most any hardware store. On the inside, I used just a quarter inch sheet of plywood that has like a beadboard um, kind of pattern or groove cut into it. And then on, along the front side of the coop, I, I did just a two foot high wall. And so I did that because I really wanted kids to be able to come in here and look inside the coop and kind of peep on over that wall and be able to, to look inside of it. One of the things that's been really handy about these four foot high walls on either side was like on the other side where I have the uh, laying box, I was able just to screw the laying box directly into the wall and that fit on there great. And so it gives you some, some options like that if you want to mount something to the wall, you have these as kind of solid walls to then mount to on the inside of the coop. One note on actually building these walls to hopefully save you a lot of hassle if you're thinking about doing this sort of a project is that putting, um, putting chicken wire up on a wall that's already in place vertically can be really challenging getting like a good stretch on it and making sure it's really tight like this. And so I actually built these wall panels flat on the ground outside first and I installed the chicken wire with a staple gun and while those wall panels were actually sitting flat on laying flat on the ground and that really allows you to use kind of your leverage and it's just easier to roll out that chicken wire to install it that way and it it turned out really great i've had some really hard times in the past putting chicken wire and hardware cloth in but when it was laying on the ground it was really easy and then i just kind of stood those wall panels up vertically and brought them in put them on top of the foundation pieces and just just kind of assembled all the pieces in place and, and screwed it all together. All right, so for the roof or ceiling, so one of the things I really didn't want to do, so the total footprint of this coop, uh, coop is uh, eight feet by 16 feet roughly. And so I didn't really want to just totally lose that, that uh, footprint of storage potential in the barn. And so I figured I'd, build the roof a little bit beefier than I had to, just so it could hold some weight and we could throw some things up there for storage. So what we actually do is we store a lot of like things in the off season up there, like our electronetting fencing, hoses, drip irrigation, uh, extra lumber, things like that. We throw up on top of this roof. And so it's worked out great to have that for extra storage space. But how I built it is in the middle, I put a beam across, so I put two um, two by sixes together that are kind of sistered together 
running ac across the center of it, and then going off perpendicular from those is kind of a joists on either side, and those are just two by four joists hanging off of it. I think I have those every two feet or 24 inches on center. And then on top of that, I have just half inch plywood sheets. It's really pretty sturdy up there. I've been up there and walked around and we've loaded it up with a decent amount of weight and things that we have for just storing up on top and it's, it's held up fine. So that's the roof that I built. And I'll show you what I did on the side walls here is I kind of built a ledger piece. So this horizontal two by four acts as a ledger that these joists for the roof rest on top of. And so I basically just screwed this really good into these vertical studs and that's catching the weight of these joists. And so that's kind of just how I finished that off on the sides. All right, so that's really the tour of the coop. And it really was a pretty easy project to, to build this. I was able to build it mostly by myself and put it together. I can't say that for all projects on the farm that they've been pretty simple and gone according to plan, but this one really came together pretty pretty nicely. One thing that I didn't get to yet with kind of finishing out this coop is that I really wanted to frame out this outside exterior wall that's part of the barn and maybe line it with some plywood or boards, maybe even insulate in there. Um, I even thought about cutting some windows in so we could get some more natural light and some more ventilation into the coop. So the barn itself stays pretty tight during the winter and, and traps a lot of heat inside the barn and then the coop here, but there is a lot of cold air that comes in through this exterior wall. And so if that was insulated or even just had an extra layer of plywood or something there, that would keep a lot of the cold air from coming in and really make your chickens happier. So that's the chicken coop and we are really so glad that we built it inside the barn here and didn't try and tackle a major project of building a separate structure for them. The barn really offers so many advantages. It's got a roof overhead right so everything stays dry. During the summertime I open up big, our big barn doors on either side and you get a lot of good cross ventilation so there's plenty of vent ventilation during the summer in the winter when you close everything up good and tighten it up it keeps a lot of heat inside the barn and so that's really helpful you have your water supply and you can store all your food right here inside the barn that makes chores really easy all right so that's our chicken coop that we built inside our barn thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead today and we'll see you next time